Now, all right, got some old barn wood here. And I'm gonna make one of them classic, uh, I don't know, they call them pallet Christmas trees, but uh, I'm gonna use this old barn wood here. It's gonna be that <laughs> gray on the one side. And I'm not sure which side I'm gonna like better. So I'm keeping it open on which side I'm gonna cut and stick a board to. I thought this is kind of cool. One of the old barn woods I was testing. Cause I'm, I'm gonna, a lot of people just leave them at these angles, which these are 30 degree angles I cut. So to maximize board, you know, I obviously cut, you know, cut. So this wasn't really that big a board. And this was what was left on the end of it. And I was playing around with, cause I'd like to modify it and have a little more of a tree shape, you know, going, a little more of a swoop so it looks more like a Christmas tree but I thought this was kind of cool someone must have shot the building with uh, fine shot out of a shotgun because there's clear entry and uh, exit holes I thought that was pretty cool but uh, this board wasn't wasn't quite long enough to make it into the into the tree so I'm probably going to cut this board down and I'm going to use it as the stand and the backbone. So first things first, I'll uh, cut this, this out. And to determine this, if you were going to try copying it, I went an inch over from this 30 degree cut. I went an inch up and I went two inches over this way. And then I just drew a nice swoop line and I'm going to cut this one out and then I'm going to trace it on and cut the other ones to match and then we'll see uh, see what we got in the end. Maybe, maybe it'll look dumb, maybe not. I don't know. I haven't seen, uh, I really haven't seen one like this. So we're going to give it a shot. There's the angle. I'm going to cut out the rest of them. We'll see what it looks like. Well, I couldn't decide on what side I like best because I was originally going to build it like the standard pallet Christmas tree. But since I like both sides, what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it together so I can have both sides. So there's not going to be a backbone going down it. It's just going to be glued together. You see, are these clamps long enough? Absolutely not. Well, that's okay. I have other clamps. I'm going to go get them. All right. What I did is I cut one piece like this. I notched it. And then I cut another piece similar, and I notched it from the other side. And right now... I don't have that piece glued on yet. I'm going to see if I can uh, put some glue on them and get them to uh, hold themselves up here. 
Not so good. That was less than ideal. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna. Oh, that's a tight fit. I'm gonna add a little more glue here. Try that again. Oh, a little off. There we go. How are we looking on this side? We got a little glue squirting, squirting out there. All right. So what we got going here? We got this. Like that then we got this side like that and I obviously I have some glue squirting out I gotta sand that off but first I'll let this glue set up and god I'm wondering I might uh, put some Danish oil or, or something on here to make these colors kind of pop a little better We'll we'll have to we'll have to look into that. But so far, this is what it's looking like. Now there'll be a little break so I can let that glue dry. All right, this is a completed tree. Okay, I put some uh, Danish oil on it, and I did it on both sides. I like to use that stuff. It kind of seals it up and. Makes it easier to clean down the road. There's the base that uh, I made. Couldn't really think of anything else to, as a good way to make it sturdy standing up. And I mean, it's it doesn't doesn't rock. It I mean for for barn wood, it's pretty straight. Still some fuzzies on here. I used a. Uh, white rag to put on the Danish oil but there that's a Christmas tree it doesn't look anything like I thought it was gonna look when I uh, first started the project but that happens <laughs> 